Hello guys, welcome to the next lesson for this project. In the previous lesson, we created our first server for this project. So if you didn't watch my first lesson, you can go back and watch how to create a server using Express. But if you're okay with it, then let's guys, let's move on. In this lesson, we are going to create our routes, our folders and routes for application. Guys, remember, this project is React and Node. So first, we are creating our API first, and then after we finish creating our API, then we start working with the front end of React. So from, from this session up to the upcoming ones, we'll be working on the back end. And after that, we'll move on to the front end for the React project. Okay. so. The next step for this lesson is we are going to create our route. Okay, how we are going to structure this project? I was planning to use MVC pattern, okay, MVC uh, pattern for this project, but I just want to make this project very simple, so I will not use that one for now, but I will show you how it is being used. Okay, I just want to make it very simple, understand, so that we can also plan and add additional features and how to structure projects as soon as you understand what is going on behind the scene okay so let's go back to our folder and let me even close the front end nothing inside so i'm working okay in the back end okay so here let's create a folder let's call this one routes okay and before creating the route, let's start on one page. Okay, so um, let me give some comment here. Let me call this one server. Okay, and then let me move this one up here. The next one will be what is called route. Okay, and for this route, you are going to make use of the user registration route for the users. So first, let me call this one users route. So the first route I'm going to make use is called register user. Okay, so for the app instance, we have all the HTTP verbs. So one is called post and get put and delete. So first, let's make use of post. As the name implies, post means that you are making requests to the front end. Okay, you are you are you are you are making you are creating something to our server when you say post. So the pattern I'm going to use is called API. This is a, a, the endpoint API users, and I'll make this one register. And the second argument is a function. Okay, a function like that. And this function passing two arguments, request and then response. Okay, cool. So the request and the response, for now, let's send back just a message called register route. I just want to test if our routes are working. Okay, so now that you have, you have one route, let's see how to test this. And since you're developing this application in the back end, you don't have any user interface to make requests to our server. Okay, so what you can do is you have to make use a third party tool called Postman. And what's Postman? Postman is nothing, a tool for developing API. Okay, so when you go to postman.com, you can download it here and you have all the platform versions that you can install. So download and then install, as simple as that. So after you installed, you have this beautiful interface, okay? So on the left-hand side tab, you have what's called history, collection, and the API. And here, it's a tab for our URL. So first, let's create a collection, okay? And a collection name, I'll make a name of my project, that's bookkeeping, App. Okay, 
as you can see I have one folder so let me create another subfolder so click on this three dot icon and then add folder and one folder called users because I'm going to make use of users endpoint when I click it add users so next click on add request request let me make this one register user save it when you click on it as you can see we have additional tab and here we can put in your url which is localhost http localhost http semicolon slash slash localhost semicolon localhost sorry it's like this localhost semicolon 5000 that's our port and then the endpoint is called api slash users slash register okay so when i hit send it tells me that error connection because our server is not running so let's see if it's so our server is running because from the previous one i have to restart again don't worry about the restart it's a headache okay so you find a way of solving that so when i come back and i say send you see that it cannot get because we don't have a route of get what we have is what um post okay but here in the postman we are making use of what get so let me change to get as you can see when you click on this drop down we have all the http verbs the get post put delete patch okay so first we are going to make use of post so let me send and you can see register route this this is what we sent to the user okay so let me close some tabs I don't need it for now okay so we know that our post register endpoint is working so let's make use of app dot post for login okay so api slash users slash login and then the same pattern request and then response and response dot send let me say login route as that okay so the next one let me save it when you save it as you can see we have post so let me duplicate this and make this one login user okay so let me change the endpoint here to login like so send as you can see cannot post api users login so what is wrong because I may change the server, I have to restart the application again. All right, so don't worry, we find a way of solving that using what is called Nodemon. But for now, let's go in this way slowly. I have login route. So, next route, so let me call this one. This is what login, and then let me call this one register. Okay, the next one is update user so let me comment here update user so a app dot put okay and the put is api slash users slash update okay so the same pattern request response and then let me send just say update route okay so let me make use of the last endpoint let me make it of um, delete user so app dot delete okay and the endpoint will be api slash users slash and to delete I have to make use of query string okay that's query parameter so let me make use of id i'll explain this one for you to see don't worry and response and request so let me send this one and say delete route okay so now if you look at this pattern we have all the route slash something 
but for the delete we have what is called colon id okay there is a um, query parameter okay so why id because we want to make use of um, this endpoint being dynamic because if you want to delete a user you need the id of the user okay and this since this id is dynamic we can access this id in our express using request dot query okay so let's see how to access this one in our postman so the last endpoint is fetch users so app dot get api slash users like that and then comma request response and let me just send back this to and see that fetch users okay so let me start restart my server and then go to postman where is it okay so the, the next route let me duplicate this one is called delete okay so let me make use of the next one is update right update user and the update make use for this called put to so change to put save it and then change the last endpoint call update and then send cannot put okay so let's see the actual endpoint for update where is it is sorry i forgot to bring the slash here that is an error that caused an error so let me restart my server again and then go to postman send update route the next one sorry let me also duplicate this one the next route is fetch users right fetch users is get so change to get and then here delete this endpoint this is the endpoint in our server send fetch users we have register post put so let me save this one so i can get with use of a get i save it so the next one is delete right the delete is really special because uh, how we can access that delete user and i'll make use of delete here and users so because this is the slash the id so i can put whatever id here when I make this one like this one and say send, it tells me that I cannot delete because we don't have the ID. So I can put the ID here and send and it will respond as delete. So we have a way of accessing this um, query parameter here. So don't worry. So since we have all this endpoint for our application, the next step is that we will create or connect application to MongoDB for us to create our first user. So guys, thanks for watching and catch you up in the next lesson.